بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين حمدا يوافي نعمه ويكافئ مزيده وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sha Allah we are going to start this book known as ar risalatul jami'a which contains the essentials of Islam the most very basic things that a muslim should know it is very important that we understand our deen to be able to perform the amals if we do not know it is equivalent to somebody who's driving a car without a knowledge they will have an accident a pilot a person who's trying to be a pilot to ride the plane he'll cause a crash because he has no knowledge alhamdulillah he starts with the name of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all the praise belongs to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the lord of the worlds a praise which matches his gift the gifts of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and equals his increases and we also ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to send the blessings to our master prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his family and his companions the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in this book and in a hadith the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said talabul ilmi faridatun ala kulli muslimin wa muslima seeking knowledge it is compulsory for those muslims who are men and women also it is compulsory is an obligation that each of us should seek the knowledge so that they can practice their deen and they can understand allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they can understand the deen so the love of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enters their heart the love of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam enters their heart so it becomes easier loving allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and following his commands through the teachings of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam another hadith the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says man salak salaka tariqan yaltamisu fihi ilman sahala allah lahu tariqan ila al janna he says whoever takes a path searching for knowledge god will lead him along a path to the garden to janna if you follow a path that your intention your soul intention is to seek knowledge allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make it easy for you to go to jannah the book starts with the pillars of islam arkanul islam khamsatun it says the pillars of islam are five understanding a pillar is very important a pillar is something that holds something a pillar in islam the islam is what the islam was built upon so the pillars of islam are five the first one is bearing witness that there's no god to be worshiped but allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the messenger of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he is the messenger of god that is the most important part is the the kalima la ilaha illa allah muhammadur rasulullah that is believing saying it with your tongue and believing in your heart that there's no one worthy of worship but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who came with that message from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you follow that message you will be saved from going to the hellfire inshallah once a person becomes a muslim and says the kalima la ilaha illa allah muhammadur rasulullah the next step that follows that is uh, the salat five times prayer praying five times a day it is compulsory it is not optional one must do it whether they are uh, healthy or they are sick it is very important that they perform 
with sickness depends whether they are very sick, they are not longer with it and do not understand themselves. But iqam is salat, praying the salat on its prescribed time. Praying at the time when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants you to pray. It is one of the pillars of Islam. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said the difference between the believer and non-believer is the salat. فَمَنْ أَقَامَهَا فَقَدْ أَقَامَ الدِّينَ وَمَنْ هَدَمَهَا فَقَدْ هَدَمَ الدِّينَ The one who will take care of the salat, they have taken care of the deen. And the one who do not care about the salat, they abandon the deen. So that is the second pillar of Islam, which is the most important also. And it is the key to Jannah. The day, on the day of judgment, none of your deeds will be assessed before Salat. The first one to be assessed is your Salat. If the Salat goes through, then all other deeds will go through. If Salat doesn't go through, it means there's a shortage in your Salat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will order the angels to look in the nafl or the sunnah that you use to pray to make sure that it completes your uh, compulsory, the fard, the obligatory salat. And then, if you have not prayed at all, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there's a place in the hellfire that is prepared for those who have not prayed because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, or for the, those who do not care about their salat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, فَوَيْلٌ لِلْمُصَلِّينَ a place in the hellfire has been prepared for those who pray. الَّذِينَهُمْ عَنْ صَلَاتِهِمْ سَاهُونَ For those who pray but do not care about their prayer, do not pray at its prescribed time. It is very important, brother, salat is the biggest gift that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to mankind is the communication and connection between the slave and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it is the best gift that we shouldn't waste it just like this. The third pillar of Islam is وَإِتَاءُ zakat, Giving zakat once every year of your wealth. You will give, if it is money, 2.5%, depending on what it is. There's different way of giving the zakat. And inshallah, later on we'll explain it. And it is a charity that purifies your, your wealth. If you do not pay it, then uh, you will get punished on the Day of Judgment. And also, it is, a, it is from your wealth and it is an act of worship. You are worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by giving it. It is fard. And Islam loves to care about those who are less well off. So it is important to share the wealth, those who are wealthy, to look after those who are poor. So zakat is paid once every year, 2.5% uh, of your wealth, depending on what you have. If it is gold, if it is di uh, uh, silver, if it is animals, if it is... There's different ways where, and inshallah later on, we'll explain it. But if it is money, for example, 100 pounds, you'll pay 2.5%, and it has to reach particular... Uh, nisab uh, for, 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 you to, for, you, for it to be compulsory for you to pay and then the fourth pillar of Islam is fasting the month of Ramadan fasting one month in the whole year it is the month of Ramadan the month of blessings Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought that particular month to wipe our sins and forgive us and also to make us feel how a poor person feels and also to bring us closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and also in Ramadan uh, we have to share the little word that we have with others and eat with others the little that you take to the mosque or to help others Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses you and replaces it even with more blessings so the first one you said is the shahada the kalima la ilaha illallah, believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as his messenger. The second pillar of Islam is uh, praying on its prescribed time, iqam salat wa ita'i zakat 
giving charity, giving the zakat once every year, and then fasting the month of Ramadan, and uh, then Hajj al Bayt, man istata'a ilayhi sabila, going to Hajj for those who have means of going to Hajj, making pilgrimage to the house, the Al Kaaba, for whoever is able. The ability is taken into someone who has the ability to go, the tickets to go, the tickets to come back, the, 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 the money for the family he, where he's living, then behind to spend, and then himself also the money that he, he spends through his way to get there and while he's there and to get himself back, and the way should be safe, then it becomes compulsory for the Muslim to go, the believer, to go once in a lifetime. Once in a lifetime. So there's, uh, and then, that is the fifth one. Ma'al ikhlas. The author is saying, you have to do this with ikhlas, not showing off. And also, what tasdiq in believing, in a firm belief that you have been ordered to do this by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he says, فَمَنْ لَمْ يَكُنْ مُخْلِصًا فَهُوَ مُنَافِقٌ if you do it in, uh, in order to show off to others, then that is a sign of hypocrisy. Here you are munafiq. وَمَنْ لَمْ يَكُنْ مُصَدِّقًا بِقَلْبِهِ فَهُوَ كَافِرٌ If you do not believe in any of these, he says he is not a believer. And he said, وَأَصْلُ الْإِيمَانِ the, 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 basis, uh, the basics of iman is to believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does exist, He is there, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that He is one only, and He has um, uh, no partner, and also there is uh, no one looks like Him, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, لَيْسَ كَمِثْلِهِ شَيْءٌ وَهُوَ السَّمِيعُ الْبَصِيرُ There is nothing, there is no one who looks like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is the, uh, the one who hears and is the one who can see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the creator of the seven heavens without any help from a human being. He is the creator of the earth, the seventh earth. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the creator to believe, to have a firm belief that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the creator of death. He is the creator of life. He, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, he's the one who gives health and he's the one who gives sickness and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he is the creator subhanahu wa ta'ala of obedience, disobedience, health, sickness, entire universe and what it contains it, you have to believe that it was created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he created the human beings and their actions and determine their provisions, what they will have, and the lifespan, how, the, how long they will live. It is already uh, determined by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And also, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written for you, there will be no increase or decrease. Your lifespan will not increase by one single day or not decrease by one single day. And also your food, what is written for you, uh, it will not be increased or decreased. Nothing to believe, to have the firm belief in your heart that nothing happens except by his decree, Qadr, and that will happen. Whatever happens is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that to believe, to have firm belief that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is alive, he's, he knows everything and also he can see everything, he knows everything, even what is in your heart, what you're thinking. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala automatically knows he is the creator of everything and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who sent the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he sent him to all mankind to guide them for guidance and to have good life and to guide them and show them and save them 
from going to the hellfire and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has supported the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam through different miracles and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to save uh, the mankind from going to the hellfire to also have firm belief that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is truthful in everything that he said that came from, uh, came from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, in uh, the, the, the Mizan on the Day of Judgment and the Sirat, the, the, the path that will pass by uh, and all these to have firm belief that uh, whatever the Prophet sallallahu told about the life after here, the barzakh, including all the questioning of the angels, the punishments that uh, exist in the grave, to have firm belief that uh, they do exist, and Quran, to believe in the Quran and all the books of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent, and also to have firm belief that the angels are true, they do exist, to have firm belief of Jannah, and the fire to believe that family does exist and it is true and also everything else that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam informed us of it does exist and it is true that is what the Arkanul Islam is my brothers inshallah we'll continue with our next part of the lecture next time in this great book of the basics of Islam so the, the five pillars of Islam which are most important is uh, the, 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 the shahada, kalima la ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah to pray on time, on his prescribed time, giving zakat, fasting the month of Ramadan, going to hajj, and fully believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his all powers and his messenger, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We'll stop here. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Muhammad wa sallam.